we have Nathan Emerson, CEO of Property Mark. So welcome today and uh, thanks for your time, Nathan. I thought what we'd do um, and uh, today is um, just have a look at the who, what, when, where and why of you, Property Mark and uh, all of the above, if that's all right. OK, so um, for those that don't know you, I'm, I don't there, I doubt there's uh, many people that don't. But if you wouldn't mind, introduce yourself and then we'll crack on. Yeah, so I am uh, Nathan Emerson. Um, I'm the CEO of Property Mart. There you go. Okay. Simple and sweet. Great. Fantastic. And uh, I know you've been uh, in the business for many, many years. I better not mention how many, but uh, give us a bit of a background as to where you uh, where it brought you to. Uh, Ooh, how you got there. Oh, if my mind can go back that far. So I've been in a state agency now right the way from uh, post my school days, really, and, and, and college days. So uh, I, I started off as the proverbial tea boy um, and worked my way, my way through every single discipline that's out there, really, um, and eventually progressed up to uh, partner and director uh, of a well-known firm, um, won absolutely tons of awards um, and, course, you know, just, just developed every which way but loose so sales lettings commercial agricultural i've been right the way through the whole whole shooting match really and i you know and i think that's one thing coming into this role that's been quite quite important yeah. really, uh, has actually been the ability to uh, obviously property mark because it it covers everything really you know you have to understand that the perceptions maybe from a lettings point of view might be different from a sales point of view might be different from an auctions point of view you know so it might be different from a commercial yeah, point of view um and I think the fact that I've had the ability to walk in at all those environments has actually helped a great deal in understanding the different requirements of the disciplines, really, to try and, and then fuse that together, really. Yeah, sure. So you've got a sort of 360 degree, degree view on the, the whole marketplace, really. So that's uh, yeah, it's great for where you are now. So um, you've been quite um, outspoken in favour of more regulation. Um, so in, in particular, looking at, say, Roper, what's your uh, the inside track from you on um, Roper um, and what might property mark where, where might property mark sit within all of that? So obviously, from an organisational point of view, we, we we were involved in the in the working group from the Roper side, and uh, obviously we are waiting at the moment for um, some official response from from the the consultations that went forward. Um, and interesting enough, I think you know if you look at the um, the NAA conference we had just prior to lockdown, um, you know people were asked in the room at the time how many people actually wanted regulation, and out of 650, 700 delegates there. The majority of people there, when I, and I say the majority, it was between 90 and 95% all stuck yeah. their hand up saying that's what we want. And right. if you look at it, you look at, you know, um, solicitors, you look at accountants, um, you know, and environments like that where people are regulated, they are professionals, they can charge more. We're yeah. in, a, in a sector that at the moment um, is actually driving its own worth and fees down uh, year by year by year, average fees at the moment, the national average fee is below uh, below 1%, it's 0.97%. So you're in a situation where in a, in a space of sort of 10 or 12 years, agents have gone from 1.5% as an average fee down to under 1%. Um, and they're in a position where the only thing that they're taking home is a similar amount of money to what they were doing for a transaction 10 or 12 years ago. Yeah, and of course yeah. you have the, the effects of inflation in there. So actually people are doing more work with more tools, less. more expense for less money. So, you know, that's uh, yeah. um, and actually the one thing that I think regulated industries do provide and, and regulated environments do provide is the ability to, um, you know, price and charge effective fees for what you do at that environment, really. So it's not just about doing the job properly. It actually underpins what we do as a proper profession. Um, and I think you have to understand that a lot of transactions only make it through because of the hard work that's done with the professionals yeah. that work within the within the sector driving that through and supporting the legal and financial aspects yeah yeah okay so it, i mean looking at i mean there's lots of agents out there who kind of don't want to be forced into um taking new qualifications i mean we've touched mm -hmm. on that earlier but you know what's what's your sort of message to those guys that are, you know don't want to be forced into that and you know who've been in agency for many years perhaps but think well okay look i you know just don't want to be going down that route 
What's your take very, on that? Very, very good question. I'll probably hide under the desk myself. Uh, no, the, the reality is, listen, we, we all we all wanted to get rid of those GCSEs, A-levels and all the rest of it. Nobody enjoyed that process. Uh, not most of us anyway. Um, but, but I think the thing to think about is this. At the end of the day, you know, there are many different ways of learning. You know, where there are, you know, people watch YouTube videos, people watch um turn up to seminars yeah. people absorb information in lots of different ways and yeah the one thing i've i've seen is when you look at people who've gone through the qualifications recently a lot of them now start to use online tools they break it down into subsections and it, it, it can actually be a fairly fun environment really it's not it's not as bad as people would think the irony is a lot of people don't always go on to do the qualifications or or push themselves on is is not so much sometimes of whether they're capable of doing it and whether they want to do the hard work actually very often it can be the fear of not actually passing the examination yeah certainly, yeah if you think a lot of business owners you know for them to sit there and actually take an examination maybe they may fail but one of their staff members may pass you know that that can in some people's minds change the dynamics um yeah and, and it's interesting when you talk to people who've, who've done examinations and certainly people who are business owners who've gone through that process um you know that you can feel the relief off them when they, they pass something but it shouldn't be about that really um it shouldn't be a fear factor you know it's amazing you what you actually do is you relearn sometimes things you've forgotten um yeah most people operating today out in the environment if they're doing the job and they're doing it well would work, work work through a level three um fairly comprehensively fairly straightforward because they know their stuff they're, they're doing it they anyway it. they know they're doing it every yeah. day it's more the confidence in your own abilities to actually take it there and, and have a go you know you've nothing yeah. for having a go really and, and actually the relief when people do it and they realize that actually what i've been doing for 20 years i have been doing correctly is fantastic yeah. but equally though sometimes i go oh i didn't realize i've been doing that wrong yeah 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 you know, I know what you mean. It's it's um you know if they've been doing it for so long, then it's like oh it's a bit of a fear factor as you say about you know perhaps getting um getting qualified. But mo moving on, um, Property Mark being the main trade body, some mm. would say um lacks a bit of clout mm. as compared to say um NAR National Association of Realtors in the um, mm. US. What's your take on that, Nathan? Um, so again, we work very closely with the NAR, um, and, and you know we regularly talk, we regularly share information, best practice, and things like that. And I think the one thing about Property Mark is, um, and, and again, this is something which is starting to come through, is the, is the transparency that I'm, I'm keen to drive through. And what people don't realise is that we do regulate. We regulate quite quite strongly. Um, we're not afraid to um, find people that, that don't do the job correctly, that, that come through that process. And um, what we don't do probably is shout out enough about when people are fined and how they're done and, um, you know, and, and, and sometimes when people are struck off, that kind of thing, that, that, that information piece isn't overly advertised, you know, made sensational, which you could easily do. Um, we deal with things, people are regulated, people are spot checked, um, we carry out, um, okay. uh, you know, proper panels um, and, and people are held to account for what they do. Simple as that. OK, so actually tell us a bit about the spot checks. I wasn't aware of that. Mm. So, again, when you look at most people's engagement, a lot of that will be sometimes through websites, sometimes through adverts, sometimes through social media. Um, and obviously there are key things that people need to, to do. Um, and what we're looking for all the time is people who have got the right badges in the right place, people who are advertising their membership to the right schemes. You know, have they got their fees available on site online? Have they got, you know, their their um, CMP certification? All of that kind of stuff really is 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 initially very visible and they, they can be great indicators sometimes to say, well, hang on a minute, we're not displaying these in, in, the, in the environment, in a digital environment, what's actually happening in the office? And then, of course, that gives you the opportunity then to take the next step. And very often it's about education. People sometimes don't realise everything that they need to do. I mean, if you think about it, you know, uh, you know, th there are hundreds of pieces of legislation that, that we need to fulfil every single day. And it can often be just a simple human error that something didn't appear where it should have appeared. Um, yeah. You know, no, and so okay. very often yeah. 
we'll pick up the phone and say, look, we just need to talk to you. You know, this is missing this. Potentially there could be X thousands of pounds worth of fines there. And you'll often find people will rectify it within 24 hours. You know, it's done. Yeah, it's just an oversight. Just an oversight. An really. oversight, you know. Yeah. And yet they could have been in a position which training standards or somebody picked it up or somebody got it. Then, then they could have been, been held to account for that. So we do a lot of proactive yeah. stuff. It's not always about bashing people with a stick. Actually, it's trying to educate people. And that, that's very, very important, really. I think if we can educate people correctly, then, then you don't find the fallings in standards at quite the levels that you'd expect. Yeah. OK. All right. Well, thank you, Nathan. Just before we uh, sign off, um, for those uh, viewing, what is there something about Nathan that we don't know? Let's share something that we don't know about Nathan. I'll put you on the spot here. Well, is that apart from the fact I love lots of food? I love lots of... <laughs> He's a foodie. <laughs> Little known fact. Go on then. Let's have a look. Um, I've got a third Dan in karate. There you go. And a first have time. you actually? <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay. There you go. All right. Well, okay. I think the there's message. My, there's my little snippet for you. The message is: get qualified. Don't be frightened, and don't mess with Nathan. <laughs> in that <laughs> order. All right. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Well, again, thank you to Nathan Emerson, CEO of uh, Property Mark, and thanks for joining us, Nathan. Thank Cheers. you, mate. Take care. Cheers.